Will Berry owns and operates Blacksmith and Bean Coffee Company with his father Tim at their farm in Cambridge, Ontario. I sat down with Will to learn more about the history of the company, to where it is today, to what they hope to achieve in the future. So uh, in high school, in grade 11, uh, we had to do some sort of project um, and like we had to work somewhere. So luckily, I, I don't know how I got this through, but I got to work with uh, my dad at his farm and we uh, were both coffee drinkers. Um, I was just really getting into coffee like in high school and uh, we thought, well, it'd be cool if we had our own coffee. So we decided to go to coffee school. So it was basically like uh, learning how to roast and stuff like that in St. Jacob's. Um, and we were really interested there. So we thought, okay, like this would be a good idea if we had our own coffee. So we thought of a name. Uh, I thought of Blacksmith, which is a good name. We were actually going to name it Blacksmith Coffee. But there's so many different places called Blacksmith uh, Coffee. So we had to think of something else. So my mom came up with Blacksmith and Bean. And that's kind of how we came up with the brand name. So our coffee, uh, it's fair trade organic. Um, it comes straight from Colombia, from a farm there. Um, so we have a dark and a medium roast blend. Um, we're probably going to stick with that for now since it's doing really well and we don't really have a reason to add something on. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have a chocolate sauce uh, with co our coffee added. Uh, we have uh, chocolate bars and truffles and those are also coffee infused. Um, and we're hoping to expand the line even more. I'm not sure what's next, but we really like just adding on to our coffee. So one thing I think that stands out is that our beans um, are all hand-picked. So um, the workers that pick the beans, um, they'll go for the ripe cherries that hold the beans. Um, that means it'll be a better cup of coffee if they're all ripe. So I think that's one thing that makes our coffee taste a lot better than other coffee because they use like machines that just shake the tree. Uh, so we're in 75 stores right now, um, but we get asked like almost every week about getting our product in a new store. Uh, so I think it's probably mostly from word of mouth because we actually do zero, uh, we've spent zero dollars on marketing. It's all social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, but that's been working for us. I don't know if we're going to change things up, but that's been working so far. I have always been dark. Uh, same with uh, my dad. Uh, probably because it's uh, stronger tasting. Um, one thing that I learned, though, from doing this is that, because I always thought there was more caffeine in a dark coffee because it's stronger, right? It's just you would think that but there's actually more caffeine in the medium blend so maybe i'll have to switch over <laughs> from adding new products to their catalog to expanding into new stores there's no telling where blacksmith and bean will go next